Tony Ramos, NCAA finalist, 2014. First off, you turned it on and you got revenge again. Yeah, shop. I was excited. All right, first question I have. What is up with your teeth? Where are they? What's going on? <laughs> um, when I was growing up, my baby teeth fell out. Nothing ever came in, so they had to put two fake teeth in. Uh, we've been waiting to do implants left or, you know, maybe this year or down the line. So they just have bridges in, and if they get popped in the right place, they just fall right out. All right, so yeah, two so, of them, both so, on both this side and another one on that side. Then that one has obviously been knocked out. Yeah, that's just from came out. that's day to day scrapping. Yep. And how many times have you done this uh, roughly? I'm in the dentist office maybe twice a month getting them put back in. <laughs> All right. That, that first off, did you have shop pinned at the end? I know you. I thought he was flat, but you know Haggerty has to keep his calls consistent, and they didn't want to call that one either. All right, so looking forward to the finals. First off, are you even thinking about that right now? I'm ready for it. I'm excited. I got Graf. Uh, beat him a few times. Pretty confident going into it, so I'm ready for that match Saturday night. Uh, just got to figure out what the order is tomorrow morning. You have beaten him here at the NCAA tournament last year in the yep. semifinals last week or two weeks ago, big time finals. You didn't get a takedown. Yep. And, I, and, and you know, we, we talk, you know, you get frustrated sometimes. Oh, yeah. But how important is it not to get frustrated against Graf if he slows the tempo? It's real important. But, you know, I got to go out there and pick up my offense and get a score. If I get a score on him, it's going to be big. You know, might, he might put his head down for the rest of the match. So that's going to be the goal, go out there and score as quick as I can and wrestle hard for seven minutes. How was that crazy leverage of shop when he hit with that close <laughs> wizard? Yeah, he's pretty tough there. We knew he was tough there, and I knew that I could hit some stuff off of him. Um, just keep circling in, coming up, coming up, waiting for the rolls. And I had to scramble with them and got some tough situations, but I wrestled hard for seven minutes. A lot of guys try and snake you. When we talk about snake, they wait. Yep. They just wait. Yep. They wait to the edge. You know, like uh, we look at what Richards did. Yeah. Here. He just wanted to snake you. Yeah. That's a couple what, guys want to snake. Beckman <laughs> wanted to snake you. We, we've been training for that. You know, Tom talked to me about it. Guys are going to wait till the last 30 seconds to try and score, and, you know, they're going to try and keep it close and then maybe yeah. get one at the end. Um, so it's something I've been aware of and been preparing for. Any big adjustments against Graf tomorrow? Nope, just get to my offense. How much fun are you having? A lot of fun. And I, I felt like those matches where you were eking those guys, eking yeah. them out when the guys were trying to snake it, didn't seem like you were having the fun that you normally have. <laughs> now it looks like you're having the fun yeah, again. I'm excited and having a lot of fun, you know, back into Saturday night, and let's go get this title. How much do you feed off the crowd? I feed off it a lot, so they know it. They'll be loud. Is he? I saw him, and I think he lost about 130 pounds. Yeah, he's losing weight. He's doing good. I'm excited <laughs> for him. He's got to keep going that way, though. Definitely. All right, you got anything else for me? Nope. All right, good luck tomorrow. Thanks a lot.